Hello, and welcome to Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy Remastered. This is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do on my channel, but I've decided to... Uh, I've decided to... Just mix it up a bit with what I do here. And I am going to play Surviving on Mars, since that is a sandbox game. And I'm going to play a game that's... Um, I'm going to play a game that's not really sandboxy, but more linear. Which, for the first game that I'm going to do, is Fahrenheit. Uh, so please, join me. By the way, this is going to be for the whole week, and I'm going to just do it as I go. It's going to be three videos a week, and this week is going to be Fahrenheit, next week it's going to be surviving Mars, and then, you know, it's just gonna, uh, loop until I finish either game, and then I guess I'll go on to another game. But yes, let's, uh, let's start, shall we? Quantic Dream. This game is made by David Cage, so, um, it is gonna be a little bit weird. <laughs> I think it's going to be a heck of a lot of weird. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth. And you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. Indigo Prophecy. So apparently the American version is named Fahrenheit. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. So yes, what I wanted to say was that, um, I forgot. <laughs> this game is made, it was made in 2015, so it is going to get a little bit weird. Oh, and I got a new microphone. I hope you can hear the difference. Ah, nothing better than a man peeing in a toilet in a diner with a killer on the loose inside the same diner. creepy about that. Dun dun dun. How can you be so self-absorbed self in washing your own hands that you can't see the person trying to kill you in the background? Okay. 
it's a start to a game. It is certainly a David Cage game. What? What, what have I done? I didn't want... It was like a dream. No, no. There's a police officer. Quick. I, I've, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. And this icon in the upper right corner is on screen. Your progress is automatically saved on the hard drive. Uh, oh yeah, I can choose. I can choose different graphics if I want, which I'm not gonna do right now. Button mastering comments. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, I see. I see it on the floor. Um, grab the mop. It mopped the floor. Oh shit. Mop the floor. And put it back, I guess. Can I, can I take a... Oh. I'm bleeding. I must have cut my wrist with a knife. Both of my forearms are cut, too. Ah, yes. Just take a quick piss whilst doing that. Yes, I'm bleeding. I know, I know. Um. I'm gonna do some speed running. Maybe look at myself a bit. If any of this does anything, but if it works or not, okay. Uh, knife. I have to hide the knife. The knife was behind me. I've got to get rid of it. So he will get up eventually. Cool. And now I guess I can just uh, leave. Or not yet. Yeah, Wait. He's not. He's not going. Okay. Can I talk to? No. Can I? Can I just like casually walk. Casually. Can I sit down? Sit Sit down. Sir, can I get you something else? No, I, uh, I don't. I don't need anything. Thanks. Okay. Interesting. Sir. Can I just like the waitress? Okay. She noticed something. I'm done for. Yes. I think yes. that you might have forgotten to pay your bill. Oh, yes, of course. I... Excuse me. The bill for the meal. How could I forget that? Quick, before somebody finds the body. This neighborhood before the police get here. Oh no. Now I guess he'll find the body and I'll be long gone.
Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. So I guess now I'm a fugitive. Doc Steiner. At 1.12 a.m. Minus 15 Doc C or 5 C. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. In five years oh, on wait. the force, I've seen some what? murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. So I guess I'm playing as both How's the fugitive going, McCarthy? and hey, also being the inspector, police officer. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Uh, who's Do we the have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. Uh, victim? Who is the victim? His name was, uh, John Winston. A regular here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. Uh, how about Martin? What were you doing here? Were you on duty? I wasn't. I just happened to be here when the murder happened. I like to come by here after work. Kate's coffee is the best in the East End. Uh, tell me about the waitress. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, uh, he was sitting at that table over there. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I wanna make sure she gets home okay. When this symbol appears on the top right of the screen, you can switch characters. Press the 2 button anytime to switch characters. Well, I don't want to do that. Can I... okay. So I'm guessing this is where he sat at? No, wait. That's the waitress. This is where he sat at. Huh. Here's his fork, but where's the knife? Dun dun dun. A cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict, or else he wasn't alone. Gotta remember to check with the waitress on that. Okay. Notes? Oh. The book. The Tempest by Shakespeare. This is his. It's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Garrett, there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for prints? You got it, Carla. Well, well, the coffee's not on the bill. So that means somebody else must have been here. Oh, no. Come on. Come on talk hey, to Garrett. You. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so I'm gonna inspect the body before I try to do anything else. Okay. Uh, so, this is the bloody marks. How about the mop? Blood on the mop? The killer must have used it to clean up the mess. Why would he risk getting caught to do that? She looks so happy. Why is there blood here? 
Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it, and we'll know for sure. Anything in the cubby hole? A table knife covered in blood. Obviously the murder weapon. The killer used his silverware to stab his victim. That would seem to indicate that the murder wasn't premeditated. Tyler, there's a knife hidden here. It might be the murder weapon. Get Garrett. Make sure he checks for prints and identifies the blood on the blade. Okay. Um, okay, so, next thing. Can I look in the trash bin? No. Can I look at myself? No trace of a struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. Gotta fix that here. Can't be a messy bun police officer. Several wounds on the left side of the chest, in the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. Okay. And the third bathroom. Nothing. Okay. So. Can I talk to him? Uh, Tyler. Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. Sometimes he's unpredictable, but he's a good guy. Okay, then. Uh, can I talk to you two and tell you that, you know, we have prints and shit? Nope. Okay, then. Can I talk to McCarthy? Hey, yo, McCarthy. I got some questions for you. Cup of coffee, Inspector? That's sweet, Martin. Maybe later. Oh. Well, I don't have a couple questions for you. But I do have questions for you, Miss Waitress. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Uh, tell me about Did the Did you victim. know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. How about the suspect? Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I, I didn't really pay any attention to him. Uh, was there someone else? Could anyone else have come in? No, uh, I don't think so. You can only get in the front door. If somebody else had come in, I, I would have seen them. Uh, tell me about his behavior. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. That book under the table it must have been his. Uh, was John was alone? Was John here alone? Did he speak with anyone? John always came alone. We chatted a bit. The weather, his job, the usual stuff. He never talked to anybody else. What was the motive? Do you know whether the victim had any enemies? Anybody that might want to kill him? John was just a nice, normal guy. I can't see why anybody would want to kill him. A uh, cup of coffee. There was a cup of coffee on his table. Do you remember whether he was the one who ordered it? A cup of coffee? No. No, I'm certain he, he didn't order any coffee. Coffee. How about the suspect's table? Is there anyone else sitting at a table? It's strange. I, I can't really remember. I remember him very clearly, but I'm not sure if he was with anyone or not. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my god. Uh, cheer up. You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. 
my shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. When he came back out, I noticed that he hadn't paid his bill. I'm careful, because that happens a lot here, people forgetting to pay their bill. What happened next? Better pay my bill. The man came back, he paid his bill and left. It wasn't until Martin found John's body that I realized uh, was the suspect Did you happen bizarre. to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. You wait. Yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push him. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. God. If I had only known. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you. We'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Goodbye, Kate. Please don't do anything reckless. Don't try and kill yourself. Good night. I can... There was a guy at outside, so can I go maybe to the payphone? Frank, can you verify all of the calls that came through this phone tonight? You got it, Carla. Yeah. Cool. Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. Oh, there's a drop of blood there. Oh, which must be for my bleeding wrist. Or whoever that person was. Good evening, sir. Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, babe. <laughs> what can I do for you? Uh, seen anything? Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight. Did you happen to see anything or anyone unusual? Did I see something? Huh. I don't see nothing. I mind my own business. My name is Carla Valenti. And you? What's your name? My name? <laughs> what the hell is my name? Nobody uses it anymore. Guess I just forgot it. <laughs> yeah, oh, Bogart. Yes. Uh, my friends call me Bogart. <laughs> Must be because I look so much like that actor fella. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go try to get someplace warm. Take care of yourself. Aww. I saw someone! Oh. Yeah. Or rather, something. Nobody remembers him, but I saw him. I saw him come out the back door. Ah, it was evil. The devil himself. What did he look like? Can you describe him? Huh? Who? Uh, who? You drink too much, baby. You, you, you're talking nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> Uh, so did you see someone or not? That I'm confused now. Not much chance of finding anything this far from the restaurant. I'm gonna head back. Okay, cool. So, uh, I'm guessing that's everything that I can find. I just like 
go into the van? No. Oh, right. I need to... I need to get my partner, since he didn't come outside. And for some... Oh, never mind. I wanted to say, for some reason, he's missing. Did you find anything, Tyler? <sighs> well, that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. Okay. You ready Emily. to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. No, no I'm sure. We're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. It's time to get back to the car. I'm dead tired. So this is where I'm going to leave it off. Um, thank you everyone for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it and goodbye. See you next time.